Hello friends, welcome back to India for IAS Current Affairs series. In this video, we are going to discuss about frequently in news weather phenomena or climatic phenomena called as La Nina. So this topic, it falls under GS1 paper of UPSC that is geography part. Within geography, it falls under climatology. So this topic is important not only for UPSC, it is also important for KPSC film assignments, that is KS film assignments, and also it is important for other group C exams. In this video, we will study why La Nina is in use, what is exactly La Nina, its impact on world climate and weather system, and also its impact on Indian weather system. Recently, the World Meteorological Organization, it says that more than 50% chances of La Nina in the coming months. So the World Meteorological Organization, it said that in the coming months, Barua Tingalagalali, there is a chances of more than 50% chances of La Nina weather phenomena is going to happen. World Meteorological Organization Hello Prakara, there is more than 50% chances of La Nina happening in the coming months. So according to the World Meteorological Organization prediction, so there is a forecast of more than 50% probability of La Nina happening in the next three months. So, Munde Baro Muru Tingalagali, La Nina Agua, Ella Chaja, Sadidagulu, fifty per cent chances, Sidanta, World Meteorological Organization, Hiratawe. So, this prediction is for the month of December two thousand twenty four till February two thousand twenty five. E Muru Tingalagi prediction of Madalagine. So, in the intensity mathe duration mode of the La Nina phenomena intensity mathe duration and mode of the it will be a weak and short lived La Nina event. So, it has a minimal minimal cooling effects and it will have a limited influence on global climatic systems. So this is what the prediction about La Nina. Now we will study in detail about what is La Nina. So La Nina, its literal meaning is the little girl. So it is in, in Spanish, La Nina means the little girl. It is also called as the cold event. La Nina, climatically, it is the reverse of the El Nino phenomena. So we will discuss uh, what is El Nino in the upcoming slides. Coming to the nature of La Nina, the sea surface temperature is below average in the eastern central equatorial Pacific. So eastern central equatorial Pacific ocean alien the sea surface temperature below average and this sea surface temperature it decreases by more than 0 0.9 degree Fahrenheit for at least five successive three month periods. So three month period five successive three month periods early sea surface temperature in Mirabiku, it should decrease by more than 0 0.9 degree Fahrenheit. So coming to the conditions that are required for the formation of La Nina phenomena, the sea surface temperature in the eastern and central Pacific Ocean should be below average in the tropical belt. So this is a tropical region. So whatever the sea surface temperature is there in the eastern and central Pacific Ocean, it should be less than the average. So coming to the pressure systems, low pressure over western Pacific causing increased rainfall in this region. In the western Pacific region, the pressure should be low. And there should be a high pressure over central and eastern Pacific region. Central and eastern Pacific region, the sea surface pressure should be high. So this is the central and uh, eastern Pacific region. Here the sea surface temperature should be high and in the western central uh, sorry in the western Pacific uh, ocean region the sea surface temperature should be low. So that is the pressure systems required for the formation of La Nina phenomena. Coming to the rainfall patterns, the rainfall is rainier than normal that means there is a more rainfall in southeastern Africa northern Brazil and northern Australia and uh, drier than normal that is rainfall is uh, less in west coast of tropical South America that is Peru and Ecuador region, Gulf coast of United States, Pampa regions of southern South America. So in these regions the rainfall is less compared to the average rainfall. Then coming to the temperature, so temperature nodogare, there will be an increased temperature in western Pacific Indian Ocean and off the coast of Somalia. So in this region, the temperature is increased. That is, uh, temperature is above normal average temperature. So these are the conditions for necessary for the formation of La Nina. 
so far we have studied la nina and we have discussed earlier that la nina is a reverse of el nino we also try to understand what is el nino in the normal years there will be a cooler region in the eastern pacific ocean and there will be a warm region in the western pacific ocean so this is the neutral or normal weather phenomena so whereas in the case of el nino year or el nino weather phenomena what happens this cooler air it is being replaced by the warmer oceanic water so here in the eastern pacific western pacific ocean the warmer water is replaced by cooler than normal oceanic water so this causes the el nino phenomena so the el nino phenomena is one of the reasons for the drought in india whereas la nina it is the reverse of the el nino phenomena so because of la nina what happens there will be an increased rainfall in the indian region so in the normal years or in the neutral phase there will be an up upwelling of the cold water cold water of the coast of peru so here upwelling will be happening so if whereas in the case of el nino year, the upwelling of the cold water it is being suppressed by the warm oceanic water so this causes heavy rainfall of the coast of peru in south america so coming to the pressure systems during neutral year it will be high pressure region and it will be a low pressure region whereas in the case of el nino year this region is low pressure region and this is high pressure region so because of that there is a changes in the pressure system and temperature system so this alters the rainfall system all over the world now we will discuss the impact of la nina so the impact of la nina in european countries so it has the europe will have milder winters instead of harsh winters europe will have milder winters so that is the effect of uh, la nina in european countries so in the northern europe it will have milder winters the same in northern europe also and southern and western europe uh, it will have a colder winters with snow in the mediterranean region so this is the impact of the la nina in europe that is in northern europe it will have milder winters and in southern and western europe the winters are colder with snow in the mediterranean region so this is the impact of la nina in european countries so coming to the impact of la nina in north america so there will be an equatorial winds that the equatorial winds they are strengthened especially in the pacific region and uh, the la nina la nina condition is favorable for the formation of hurricanes in caribbean and central atlantic region and there is also greater frequency of tornadoes in the united states of america so this is the impact of la nina in the north america so it is entirely reverse of what is happening in european region so coming to the impact of la nina in south america in south america because of la nina drought is common in both peru and equator region and the fishing industry it positively impacts due to upwelling of cold nutrient rich waters so because of la nina what is happening the cold current there is an increase in intensity of the upwelling of cold current which is rich in nutrients this favors the growth of phytoplankton which in turn favors the growth of fishes so this is good for fishing industry whereas the el nino phenomena that is not good for fishing industry why because the in end el nino phenomena what happens there will be a suppression of the upwelling of cold waters in el nino whereas in case of la nina there is an increase of the upwelling of cold nutrient rich waters that favors the fishing industry then coming to the impact of la nina in western pacific region there will be heavy floods in australia and also there is an increased risk of landfall events in asia and china landfall events means the increased risk of tropical cyclones so this is all about what is la nina why it was in news the conditions that are necessary for the formation of la nina a brief study of el nino and the impact of la nina on all over the world so based on the topic that we have discussed so far that is the phenomenon of la nina so here we have provided one prelims practice question the question contains three statements go through all the three statements and comment your answer the answer and detailed explanation for this question is available in the pdf handout which you can download by joining our telegram channel the link to join our telegram channel is provided in the description box 
the handout also contains the detailed notes of this video detailed notes of this video thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy learning